Welcome back for another episode of Dirty Slots here on the Dirty Boys Network. I'm Ryan. I'm Louie. We're back to give you six more picks for this upcoming NFL week. Three from me, three from him. Here's our records. I don't know them currently, but they're going to be right here. Yeah. All right. So we got six picks, followed by Louie's same game parlay. Yeah. And then at the end, I'm going to give you the money shot again. That shit continues. To be one away every fucking week. But you know what? I'm still doing it. First game, we got the Denver Broncos. Minus eight and a half versus the Detroit Lions. Last week, I took the Lions. They ended up becoming money line. They ended up winning money line somehow. But I took them on the numbers because I was being conservative. But at the end of the day, I was right. Kirk Cousins, still nothing. Still bad. Fuck Kirk Cousins. Fuck Kirk Cousins. For my first pick this week... I'm going to be going with an over. Now, I'm going to be going with the over 48 in the Raiders versus the Chiefs game. They're going to be scoring. It's a division matchup. Uh, they're both going to want to show up, show off. And they're both in the playoff hunt still, fighting for something. Uh, I don't see them putting any stinkers up. I like both of these teams. Raiders, Chiefs, over 48. Take it. Second game kind of hurts me to do because it's against my 49ers. But I don't trust Jimmy G. The dude's an absolute shitter. It feels like he turns the ball over one and a half fucking times a game. I don't care how good Kyle Shanahan could draw up a scheme. If he doesn't trust his quarterback, he's not going to open up the playbook, which was clearly shown last week in Seattle. So Cincinnati money line versus the San Francisco 49ers. For my second game, I have the Jaguars versus the Tennessee Titans, and I am taking the plus eight and a half with the Jaguars. Uh, the Titans, frauds, we've known that for years. Uh, Ryan's the first one to call it. They're finally starting to come into true form, which is something I've been looking forward to like, looking forward to all season, but they were so hot early on that they made it hard. They had us in the first half. But you can't hide forever. Third game, we got the Rams versus the Cardinals. And if you guys don't remember... Sean McVay doesn't forget. He's not going to forget that last loss against the Cardinals. He's going to now go into Arizona and take one from them in their home. The Cardinals are the real deal, but I don't trust Cliff Kingsbury versus Sean McVay or other good coaches in that sense. Rams money line. Okay, now it's time for the same game parlay. So I have the Dallas Cowboys minus four this week over the Washington Redskins. And with that, I'm going to be taking... Oh, fuck. You canceled pussy. (laughs) God damn it. That was such a good one. Uh, Keep going. Fucking... This week I have the Dallas Cowboys... Ah, fuck. Okay. This thing ain't at this point. (laughs) (laughs) For my same game parlay this week... I'm taking the Cowboys minus four over the Washington football team. Uh, I'm going to be taking the over in this game. It's a 48 as well. Uh, Same as the Chiefs Raiders game. Uh, It's a little high in the winter during December. But again, the division matchups, they have things to play for. Both of these teams. Washington is in the wild card. Dallas is the division leader. They got things to fight for. Washington's been scoring. Scored well last week against... uh, the Raiders, I'm not too afraid of the over. I just want to see the Cowboys pull up and, you know, honestly, do what they're good. They have a lot of talent, but they've been slipping the past couple weeks. Yeah, see, that over scares me because Washington defense has been coming alive. Dallas's defense has been alive all year, especially with their turnover ability. You really know who – you never know who you're going to get with either offense at, on any week, and you know the, how consistent the defenses yeah. have been. So, so I, I might have to fade you on that one. Yeah. My thing, I just hate the Cowboys defense. So um, anyone, I think they're going to allow points. Fair enough. All right, get the fuck out of here. Who's it all about? The Jets. It's all about the Jets, baby. We love the Jets. Go Jets. Love the Jets. Jets money line. we really about to see if they are them boys. Cowboys money line versus the football team. Third Come on, let's be fair. This is going to come down to how it always does with Justin Tucker breaking the hearts of Cleveland Brown fans in the final seconds with the Baltimore Ravens coming out money line over the fucking Browns. That's the money shot. Take it or leave it. 
I, I, I'd I, stay away. But who knows? This could be the one that hits. That's what I'll do for this episode of Dirty Slots. Make sure you go check out the rest of the channel, our Instagrams. I'm going to put the tags here and here and there. There's going to be a video suggested here. And we got the best of Tailgate State video coming out now, which will be probably about here when the video ends. Check it out. Check it out. Later. See y'all.